Hey everybody. Happy, happy Saturday. It's Saturday. Um, sitting here relaxing everything. My refrigerator just went off. Thank God. Everything's nice and quiet in here. Who uses their reusable mugs from Disney World? Because I do. I'm having my tea in this now. This is the 2019 Christmas Christmas cup. So I'm doing that. And that's good. Um, let's see. The other day I played some scratch-offs. And the new $2 holiday scratch-offs are out. They have $2, they have $5, and they have $10 games. But they didn't put out any dollar or any $20 or $30 games yet. They may do that yet because, you know, it's still early in the season. But um, these tickets, you have to really look. I saved these for an example. I took these home with me. They're, they're non-winners. They don't... Uh, they didn't, I didn't win on them. But what it is is that I found it interesting that you really have to read what you're looking for on the ticket in order for you to win. I, I'm sure there'll be a lot of confusing things. I'm sure there will be people that are going to throw these things in the garbage. But let me put this out here. Holiday 7, it's called. And if you notice, the Holiday 7 game comes in three styles. This one, the red one, and then the brown one. Okay. So Holiday 7, on the blue one here, you will look for a 7, number 7, you would win the prize automatic. On this ticket, if you reveal a, a snowflake, you will win five times the amount shown. If you reveal a Christmas tree, you will reveal uh, $20 instantly. So please read on these tickets what to look for, because not only this... But the second ticket would be red. Now, this is the red ticket. Same scenario. If you get the seven, you win the prize automatically. But if you reveal a peppermint candy, you will reveal five times the amount. Okay, so you have to look. And then same thing with the Christmas tree. It's an automatic 20. Okay, now on this ticket is different also. I like this color ticket. This, this is like my favorite color ticket. Now, if you reveal the seven, same scenario, you get the prize automatically. But the second one, if you reveal a gingerbread, you'll get five times the amount. And the same thing with the Christmas tree. Again, you get the Christmas tree, you'll win $20. So each one of them, each ticket is the same game, but they all have a little different twist to them. So please keep advised on that. Because I think a lot of people are going to miss miss that. I almost did. But then I read, you know, the instructions because I was playing it brand new. I went, oh, oh, look at this. This is a different symbol. So it kind of throws you off a little bit. So anyway, these are the new $2 games from the New York State Lottery. I just wanted to show you that. There's a little twist. Um, what else? I'm burning a new candle here from the Harry Slatkin Company. Slatkin and Company. Harry Slatkin himself. Um, it is... Iced sugar cookie, and it is a three wick candle, and it's smells like a sugar cookie. Um, it is not an overpowering candle. It fills my room. I I was using it for like three and a half hours yesterday. It fills my room, and but it's not overpowering. You do get a whiff of a cookie in the air, so that's pretty good. Okay, today Bath and Body Works they're having a sale as usual. You buy one candle, you get the second candle free. So get out to Bath and Body Works and grab your candles. Buy one, get one free. That's that's pretty cool. I don't need any more right now. I'm in the midst of doing these things. I don't need any more. But it's a good sale. Um, the bottled lotions are $3.95, while the tube of body creams are $4.95. So you may want to do that. Just figured I'd let you know. Just putting it out there, let you know. Spreading the word, spreading the gospel, spreading the gospel of Christmas shopping, <laughs> so to speak. <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, yesterday was an interesting day. I could see today is going to be continuing with that. It's a gorgeous day outside. I may take a walk. I may take may, maybe buy myself a latte or something. I, I don't know if I want a Starbucks latte. Or Dunkin' Donuts latte. I don't know. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just go rip roaring and I'll just go out with a bang and get a Starbucks latte because they have the gingerbread lattes and they they do have the holiday flavors now. Um, yeah, I was in um, I was in Starbucks the other day 
and I saw some of the cups. I, I, and I know why people collect them. They're, they're very pretty cups. They really are pretty. Um, they have this beautiful, beautiful green cup. I was like, oh my goodness. I, I love green. As you know, I'm into the camouflage and the army green and the olive green. Um, so I was just looking at the cups and they're, they're kind of up there in price, but you know what? You take good care of them. It's your hobby. People collect many other things. Disney people collect things. Disney people also collect the Starbucks cups as well. So I don't know why Disney seems to spill over into other things, but Hey, that's what they do. Okay. Um, what else? I feel like a little dry skin coming on. Yes. What else? So that was it on that one. So I may just go back today and get one of those gingerbread lattes. I may. Maybe a cold brew. You know? So, but um, I think I'm going to go out a little bit. And I, I, do, I wasn't out yesterday because I was, re, you know, I was still decorating a little bit. And I think I'm pretty much finished on that. Okay. Like I said, yesterday was a kind of a rip-roaring day. And the reason why I say that is because of the situation with the Facebook. Now, if you watched my last video, thank you so much for everybody who interacted with me on my last video. Thank you so much. And yes, I, I got your answers and everything, and I answered back as, as quickly as I can. I always do. I always do a quick response because, like I said, I'm going to recap. The My YouTube is on my phone. I have my app on my phone. I have my YouTube studio, so I see my numbers. I see every... I pay attention to a lot of things on my YouTube always on my social media, I pay attention. Um, so yesterday's situation with the, the lady, okay, that kind of fizzled out. But what it is, is that I figured to myself, you know what, I have a lot of people down in Disney World, and I really don't bother with many people. I really don't. No, I'm sweaty. I really don't. I like some people's posts. And like I said, you do have to go on their page in order to see a lot of their posts. You know, you just don't see it on your timeline. Okay, don't take it for granted. Um, so a, a friend of mine posted, because she was down in Disney World. She's down there. I told you, she lives five minutes away. It's insane. She has two children. One's in college. I think one's in high school. I think he entered high school. And they're just not, right now, this is probably the year for them not to be into Disney World that much, because they really didn't feel like going. And I know she put out a post saying that. So she had a conversation going about that because other people's kids don't feel like going. I mean, you know what? You can't force your kid to do something like that. All right. They are on doing other things. Just because you live in Florida, just because you have the opportunity to go, just because you're an annual pass holder. <laughs> and I guess that's money wasted now because they're not using it to the advantage of you using yours. Okay. And her husband, I mean, her husband has a job. He works. So they... He, those three don't go as much as she does. Yesterday, she literally went by herself. There was nobody else with her. She was just standing in front of the tree. She's got pictures of this. Okay, fine. Um, and again, when is enough enough? Because I'd be honest, me and my husband had a conversation too. Like if we were, if we lived down there, we probably wouldn't go every day either. I mean, it's no, we would probably save that for the weekend or on my husband's day off. Absolutely. He would love to do that. He would love to do that because that's kind of a tension buildup. You want to savor that. You want to build that up. So this way, when you do go, you would enjoy it a hell of a lot more than going every friggin' day. I, I just, it, when is it good not to go? You know, that's what it is. Okay. But you're five minutes down there. You have the opportunity. But if you're that desperate, then you wind up going by yourself. Like I go to the mall. I go by myself. It's not Disney World, but I go. Okay. But I'm not paying $1,500 a year to enjoy them all. Ah, big difference. Okay. So I guess maybe she's getting her money's worth if she does that. Fine. But like I said, she had the conversation the other day that the kids really are not, they really didn't want to go. I mean, there are lots of other things. They have their, their new friends in their schools and everything. So they, you know, they have a different life and that's fine. They should have their own life. You know, and they, she needs to respect that as well. Um, what else? Ah, being that I was so on a roll yesterday with the Facebook thing, I decided to put out what I call an APB. Yes, 
like a cop version of an APB. Like if you're looking for someone, if you're letting somebody you know somebody, you're putting out an APB. I put out an APB of the situation about the Mickey Mouse Nutcracker popcorn bucket. And I do not ask anybody for any favors. Over the years, certain people have approached me on, you know, listen, Maureen, I'm down there. If you need anything, just let me know. And if I could pick it up for you, you know, that would be great. There was like one person that literally did that out of 20 people that I have on my Facebook page that know me very well, that go down there. They are down there five minutes. They live five minutes away. Those are the ones that I had expected to make the offer. This one maybe goes maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. She doesn't go every day of her life. She's the one that made the offer months ago and suggested, you know, if you need something, you know, just, just ask me, let me know. But I would never do that. I've never done that. Big difference. So I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm going to put out a little thing here. I don't ask anybody for those things, but I am interested in the Mickey Mouse Nutcracker popcorn bucket. Who wouldn't be? It is gorgeous. This right here, I think this is the best popcorn bucket that they have put out to date. I'm glad they didn't revamp anything, which they did because they have the canister Mickey popcorn bucket. Um, it's not a Mickey, it's a Disney popcorn bucket, but it has a moving picture. It moves, it, you know, uh, the inside of it rotates and you see the picture. That one they revamped from a few years ago. So I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in the Mickey Nutcracker. Now they also have the Donald Duck. He's dressed up in a Christmas tree, uh, Donald Duck zipper cup, like the Donald Duck candy corn cup. That to me seems like a revamp. It's like the same shit, different day thing, but it's like the same, same concept, but different holiday thing. So you took the candy corn off and you just stuck a tree on him. Okay. I'm not interested in that. I am only solely interested in the Mickey Mouse Nutcracker. It's gorgeous. It really, they really did a good job on this. Now, yesterday I decided, you know what? Let's see who's really listening, who's really paying attention. And I know the excuses already. Um, but I seem to have beat that situation. So what I did was I put out a post and I kind of laid it out. I said, I'm putting the cards out on the table. Um, I'm interested if anybody can um, get me the Mickey Mouse Nutcracker popcorn bucket. I posted the picture of it. It's a beautiful picture, too. I posted the picture. In a nutshell, if anybody could get me this, arrangements would be made. I'd appreciate it. I says, let's see who's really paying attention to these posts. That's what I put. Now, was that a smart-ass comment? Yeah, it was, because I know just who to say that to, and I know just who would see it and who wouldn't want to see it, and who sees it and who passes, who sees it and ignores it. Then you get the ones, and I haven't gotten the excuse yet, but I'm sure I'm going to. Oh, you want to? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see your post. No, here's where I covered my ass on this one. I pinned the post to my page. So anybody that goes on my page is going to see that post first, no matter what. It's pinned. It's pinned. You can't miss it. It will slap you in the face. So I says, okay, let's, let's everybody do this. Now, I put that out yesterday late afternoon. So, so far, two people liked the post. I, don't ask, I didn't ask you to like it. What I asked for was an answer. So two people liked it. I says, well, good. I know they there, but they're not, they don't live in Disney world and they're not near Disney. So those are the two people who liked it. <clears throat> so no response. Crickets. I hear crickets. And I knew that was coming. But now I, somebody that doesn't ask for a favor, now I'm asking for a favor. So where is everybody now? There's the test. I want to see. Now we're going to see who the tough guy is. And I just said that snobby because then I get, I, I start switching. Now I'm getting annoyed with it. I put it out there. I asked. So if you don't see it, then I know either you don't look at my page or you totally ignore it. Don't play. You know, one of the things with me is don't play stupid with me. At least be, at least be honest with me. 
Oh, Maureen, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Well, you know what? There's about 50 of them right now up on eBay for like $75 each. And I'll be honest with you, 75 with shipping is not really bid. I'm not sticking up for eBay people, but that's not really a bid. I mean, it's not like $200. It's not like $150. Yes, by the way, I have seen them up there for that. But I have seen ones that are lower priced. Okay, if you're going to go the eBay route, I will honestly ask you, just read the person's feedback. So if they have 100% feedback, go into the 100% and read the feedbacks. Read what people are saying about that seller. Do yourself that favor. If you're going to do something, try do do it the right way with that. Okay, it's coming from coming from my heart. I'm letting you know. Um, I've seen it for 75. It was a little bit of maybe 13 or 15 dollars shipping because it you know it is a nice size. It is a nice size bucket. To me, that's not a bad price. I will say that. But do I want to go to eBay route? No. I have friends that are there. I have friends that are there. So my question is, where are they now? Where Where's the friends? Where's, where's the friends? That's where the test comes in. So that's where I am at this point. Nobody posted or anything, but my post is up there. It's pinned. You, you can't miss it. It's like a billboard that will slap you in the face. So I know people are going to be avoiding <laughs> that page. Listen, you're showing your true colors now, people. You're showing your true colors. That's okay, but I would never do that. I'm just, and I'm putting, I'm looking right at people who are watching this that know me, and if they are deciding to watch me, you know I would never do that to you. Okay, so now we see who the tough guy is. It's a good test. Good test to do. Um, yeah. Also, people have been requesting me on Facebook. I have been kind. Lately, maybe I'm becoming an idiot. I have no idea. But the idiot, the idiotness with me, I'm going to take a pill and I'm going to make the idiotness go away. Let's say that just by saying. Um, if I don't hear from somebody back in three days, you're gone. Because there is about three other people that are liking Disney, they're also mutual friends of mine, uh, mutual friends of other people that I know. But when somebody accepts you on eBay, uh, oh my God, when somebody accepts you on Facebook, have the decency to write back and say, hi, oh, hi, how you doing? Thank you so much for the ad. I accepted the person. And again, I don't hear nothing. So you know what? Do me a favor. Don't bother me with that. Because I'm going to put that out there. Now, I already put a post out yesterday as well, besides the other rant that I did about the other person. I put out a second rant. Listen, if I don't hear from a new request that I answered, if I don't hear from you in three days, you're gone. So today, those those requests will be gone off my page. What, why, why are you even requesting people? Why are you even bothering? Why are you bothering me with that? I don't know you, but you know my friends. Now, here's the thing with my page, and I think I said this to you, because there are a lot of tricks to Facebook. Um, you will not, if you look up my name, you will not be able to add me as a friend. You look up my name, you look up my page. There is no add as friend button, because that's how I have it set. In order to request me, you would have to be a mutual friend of somebody else's that I know. Then you would see. At that point, you would only see the add as friend button. So these people are knowing, are seeing me from other mutual people. <clears throat> so three days you're gone. Today is that third day. So they're, they're going to be gone. As a matter of fact, when I get off of here, I'm going to start making the chops. I'm going to start cutting. It's it it's ridiculous. It's, it's you know this this whole thing with the social media. It's crap. This is why I don't go on Facebook that much, and I haven't been on Facebook. I was on Facebook last was Tuesday night, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which was yesterday, Friday. That's when I there was a three day gap. So all that little crap happened within three days. So today's the third day mark. You're out of here. I that's it. You're gone. I keep my circle small. I keep my friends small. I keep I I keep I also keep a lot of people at a distance. This is the way I've always been. 
and it's gotten a little, maybe it's gotten a little bit, um, I don't want to say it got worse over the years, but it has gotten a little bit more adult over the years. I am an adult. I don't have to accept everybody. I don't have to do anything anybody wants me to do. I'm not forced to do anything. I do things out of my heart. If you're a mutual friend, fine. But, you know, it's like a disrespectful. I could never request somebody and not say hello. I could never do that and not say, even when I join a page, like a, like a Facebook group. Hi, thank you so much. I'm from New York City. Thank you so much for the ad. You know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. This is why I'm here. So if it's something that's interest to me, I'm going to connect to it. But I will say hi. I'm not just going to just accept it and walk away. It's, it's ridiculous. Or are people just a number to you? Or are you just collecting? I know people that do that also. They just collect numbers. Here's one that's that doesn't do it, and he is one that's not going to accept it, okay? So, anyway, what time is it? What time is it? Ugh. Oh, it's like 9.30 something. Okay, I have some time yet. This snuggly is nice, but it tends to fall back here, and it's like strangling me. So I, <laughs> and I'm sitting on it, and sometimes it pulls up, so that's why you see me adjusting it. I don't like anything near my neck. I really don't. Anyhow, let me get going. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, I'm sure, you know, not everybody, but I'm sure somebody out there um, understands where I'm coming from and could, like, relate to it. So it's just one of those things, really, is it's, it's annoying. But I'm starting to crack down, cracking down on it, you know. I like my social medias, but I like my Instagram a lot more than I do on Facebook. I have been kind of going, steering away from Facebook, but there's too much crap that's going on. But I need to keep my pages under control because I don't like that. They're running amok. I don't like that. And so are the people that are connected. So we will make changes to that. I will gladly do that. Not a problem. You know, it's just, it's just what I, it's just what I do. It's how I roll. All right. Have a wonderful Saturday. If I see anything in my travels outside... I'll pop back on. Other than that, I will talk to you soon. Be safe out there. Take care. Love to all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.